Guys, I know Doja Cat has been a bit concerning for a lot of y'all, so how about we answer that question once and for all? Is Doja Cat really okay? Like, how did she go from this to this? It's incredible. It's so popular. It's so happy. It didn't look amazing. Yeah. Wow, girl. Doja Cat Fabulous is probably what you thought of the outfit at the Schiaparelli show. But a lot of people are saying it's given demonic, especially given the transformation in the past couple of months. So what's with this bizarre transformation? Has Doja Cat really sold her soul? As always, I have all the juicy details. As you can see, for the event, Doja wore a strapless red gown and also covered her entire face and body with crimson crystals. 30,000 ham applied crystals, just to be precise. There there were people who praised the look for being brilliant, like this fan who wrote, If it's one thing Doja Cat gonna do during Fashion Week is use her brilliant mind followed up with an amazing team to create looks that go beyond just regular beat face and outfit. Each look comes with a lot of thought, and for that, I appreciate her looks always. However, there are also people who said that the outfit is just another receipt to prove that Doja Cat is totally out of it. And if there's anything that it gave, the word is demonic. But before that, let me just break down a little bit about how the outfit got a lot of backlash for triggering trypophobia, which is a type of anxiety disorder where one is repulsed by objects that have repetitive clusters of small holes similar to that of a sponge or a honeycomb. Apologies to anyone with trypophobia who has to see this, but I have to cover the outfit of the video just to make sense. And I can tell you for free that if you are one of the people thinking that this outfit was cringeworthy and even scary, you are not alone, hun. Like one person on Twitter who wrote, I don't know, this fashion industry just keeps getting crazy crazier and crazier because why Doja look like a devil? Something about this giving demonic. And someone else added, I don't follow Doja Cat or anything she does. It popped up on my TL and it immediately gave demonic. Evil does exist. If you think we live in a world where everything is just art and shock factor, wake up. Okay, but what exactly makes the transformation literally turn heads and not in a good way? For starters, Schiaparelli's collection was inspired by Dante's Inferno, which is coincidentally a symbolism for Hell's Nine Circles. The runway was actually complete with Dante's monsters, which are the leopard representing lust and is described as beautiful and not scary, the lion, which is described as enormous and represents pride, and the she-wolf, which represents wasting away and also represents greed. Other than the models, Doja was also in the spotlight because it was pretty hard to miss her super red outfit. And according to some people, she was representing the devil. In fact, followers said that that move asserted her position and allegiance to whatever she was representing. And when it comes to Doja, I wouldn't be surprised considering she's actually given us a couple of signs that something is not okay. For instance, there was a time when Doja had the anarchy symbol painted on the back of her head, and that raised a lot of speculation. Like, why would she just randomly put that on the back of her head? Unless, of course, she was passing a message, but people just thought she was being weird or making a fashion statement. Doja also refers to herself as being a reptilian in her rules song, and she has reptile eyes while drinking milk. So, was that just Doja being Doja, or was there some deeper meaning to Doja casually saying that she was a reptile. Speaking of songs, in her You're Right music video, Doja also stands on a checkered floor while weighing her heart and her riches. And if you want to know just how symbolic that is, check out these similar photos of ritualists doing the exact same thing. In addition, Doja also sparked more satanic panic when she appeared on a dazed cover. In the image, she was sporting a shaved head and pulled her mouth open into a smile while looking upwards. Another image also showed a similar pose, except there appeared to be a cross in her smile. Just fashion again hmm and don't you think she jokes a little too much about being in the illuminati hey you guys um what's up i have just been having such a great time illuminati 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 anyway thanks guys for watching so to fuel the conspiracy theories even further, there was Doja Cat's 27th birthday inspired by Kubrick's Eyes Wide Shut, something that followers called the official initiation ceremony. I love everybody here. Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> For 
a bit of context, the movie Eyes Wide Shut is about occult rituals that gather rich and powerful people with slaves. And many rich and powerful guests at Doja Cat's birthday party were dressed as slaves. Then the birthday cake came out of the vehicle and was paraded around for the cameras. And the least I can say is that the cake was symbolic of signs that have been widely associated with Satanism. Honestly, there's nothing to overanalyze when it comes to the cake. It speaks for itself. And get this, Doja Cat accidentally exposed herself due to something tabloids called a wardrobe malfunction. But was it really an accident? Is it a mere coincidence that actual Masonic candidates expose one breast during their initiation ritual? If you ask me, the fact that Doja was the only person exposing herself at the party is quite sus, especially in this event themed around an elite group of celebrities where she was the main character. Basically, in a ritual of submission and humiliation, she had to expose herself to her guests through the media and the entire world. The entire birthday was just giving humiliation ritual, but Doja denied it, saying, no, this is not a humiliation ritual. I feel sexy as f I'm cute. I'm a cute bitch. There, I said it. I'm not going to say it again because it's cringe. I'm not going to keep calling myself sexy. But I think that I look, I look great. I look cool. I like my hair. I think it's chic. I like my brows like this. I think it's cute. I do my makeup crazy. It's fun. And that's me expressing myself. You think that's the devil? Then you can go back to your little cave. But let's just say that people did quite believe her when she said that there was no ritual involved. Also, that move to shave her head and her eyebrows certainly had me and a million others wondering whether there was something going on with Doja. And if this has nothing to do with rituals or cults, I'm with the guys that are saying that Doja should check herself in for mental health, even though she said that the decision to shave her head and her eyebrows had nothing to do with mental health issues. That's what I'm saying. I'm rich, I'm fine. Like everybody, just the whole, the whole like, are you okay, queen? Makes me want to rip my, well, I guess the hair that I have left out and that would be my pubics. Just days before that, Doja also explained that she shaved her head because she rarely showed her natural hair in her line of work. She also nodded to the fact that she spent most of her career wearing wigs and said that she felt that she was never meant to have hair in the first place. That's what I feel like I, I was never supposed to have hair anyway. I like, don't like having hair. I never liked having hair. I cannot tell you one time since the beginning of my life that I've ever been like, this is cool. I just do not like to have hair. Well, as I said earlier, to some people, the conspiracy theories are just that, but they do believe that something is definitely going on with Doja, and the best explanation is that she's going through some mental health issues. She did previously open up to Cosmopolitan about her body dysmorphia and the scrutiny placed on her physical appearance and the pressures of constantly being in the spotlight, saying, Growing up, I definitely had body dysmorphia, without a doubt, and I had it since. It started in my teens, which I think is where it starts for a lot of people. I started really growing and I never really thought I looked good in a lot of stuff I wore. So maybe things just got worse instead of getting better, but you know what? I'll let you be the judge of everything. What do you think about Doja's transformation in the last couple of months? Is she just capitalizing on all the conspiracy theories because people are already talking about it? Or is it possible she's actually part of a cult that is making her behave the way she has been behaving? I am dying to know your thoughts. Sound off in the comment section below.